G'day everybody. Well, unfortunately I've had to uh, redo this video on the Trinitron gun assembly as YouTube uh, pulled the first one for copyright issues. One of my favourite songs is playing a little bit too loud, but anyway, I just figured I'd uh, retake it in the quiet. But this is the, uh, the gun assembly from the Sony Trinitron picture tube. I've removed the glass sleeve to uh, expose it, and I've got a nice bright fluoro here to uh, light it up so you can see it nice and uh, clear. We'll start at this end, we've got the, uh, the heaters. Let me get them in focus. There we go. You got your three filaments for your three colours. You got like some kind of ceramic insulator to hold the whole lot apart. And you got a grid right there. That's got three three little holes in it as well, I believe. I can't really see that far into it, but it'll probably be three holes for the three colours. And then you got your single. And the other grid cans are all single. So that's what made Trinitron so special. The fact that they don't they don't use triple grids to separate the uh the three colours are all done in the one. And then the final anode and the deflection yoke is what separates the whole lot. But here's your uh your M where the uh electrons exit the gun and begin there rather high speed journey to the other uh, phosphor particles that are on the face plate on the front of the tube if I can get it to focus down inside it you can see there's a uh, the three you got three holes down the very end for the three colours single grid cans and then a final anode with two dividers in it it was Earl and Dees who put um a comment explaining how these actually work and what all of the parts are. And thank you for uh, for doing that. It actually outlines how it all works really well. And there's the uh, the resistor on the uh, the rear side, which I think he said it was um, had something to do with the the focus changes the resistance in order to get a better focus on the screen instead of normal flybacks you'd have to I'm um, guessing um, correct me if this is wrong but normal flybacks have a uh, little focus um, potentiometer built into them so you can get as sharp as image as possible in fact I've actually got CRT monitors sitting here there's your normal flyback and there's your focus down inside there and you turn those knobs in order to get as good a um, image from the picture tube as you can but Trinitron flybacks do not have that because the resistor basically does all of the work themselves very incredible technology you can see the other uh, carbon film underneath in a uh, zigzag pattern which is what uh, which is basically the resistor inside it's on a very thin piece of ceramic coated with glaze on the top to uh, keep it all in. Nasty hair on my finger. But that's the uh, that's what made Sony so famous, the Trinitron CRT. Incredible technology, it's a real shame CRT's been superseded. But anyway, I hope you enjoy that. I hope um it helps a lot of people uh, understand a bit on how these work and uh, feel free at all times to put comments on how these are uh, how these work I don't really um, I've got a rough idea like I said that's I'm not 100% sure on what that's for but for those who do know put a comment explain I'd love to hear from you thanks for watching